In this video tutorial on high tibial osteotomy, we look at planning an osteotomy on a very slower limb with a single cut in either the tibia or femur. Choose either from the blue knee high tibial osteotomy icon or on the green deformity correction knee for the high tibial osteotomy icon. For more complex cases with multiple cuts, use the lower limb limb deformity correction planning tool. Choose high tibial osteotomy. A plate will appear which can be altered later depending on the cut planned and open images of interest. Planning normally done on the full leg and sometimes a short leg can be viewed and also a lateral image. Using control Two images are selected and opened. Scale both images that are needed in the usual way, expanding the long leg view and selecting the high tibial osteotomy wizard in the planning screen. Adjust the circle to the femoral head, altering contrast as needed. And using the blue magnifier to assist with viewing the femoral head. Move to centre to the femoral head and size as needed. Again adjust the contrast to suit for the lower part of the leg. Move to the ankle joint and position the handles on the joint line, roughly position on the tibia, and now adjust to either side of the tibial plateau. As this is done, the necessary correction of the cut to bring the mechanical axis to the 62% from medial to lateral or the Fuji sour point is calculated. Then move the lateral hinge and medial cut point to the cortex. Remove the magnifier and move to reduction. Already suggested size and width is shown. Automatically a cut is made to the 62% point. This can be adjusted using the pink handle if a more neutral position is needed and the adjusted value is shown. Reset is possible. An alternative method is to use a closed cut in the distal femur. Right click to obtain the properties and choose closed. This will turn the cut and then it can be positioned appropriately in the distal femur. As with the open cut, choose reduction to see the planned post-op alignment of the limb. Returning to the original plan, moving to reduction, adjusting a little more medially. When happy with the position, move to templating. The template will appear in roughly the correct position. It may need some adjustment and screw sizes will need to be altered. Using the blue lens magnifier, use the control handle at the bottom to adjust for rotation and the four point handle to adjust side to side or up and down. Adjust screws as needed and also screw type can be altered by right clicking and obtaining the properties box, move from locking to non-locking and adjustments can be made. It is possible to remove screws although it might not be appropriate for this procedure. Where multiple screws are shown overlapping, sometimes the lateral view is useful. Bringing the lateral view 
and moving to templating. We see the plate with the screws that have already been adjusted. And the small arrow keys for small movements. And now accessing the screw heads is easier in this view. No screw removes the central screw. And the screws here can be adjusted more easily. When happy with both views, remove the magnifier, view the report, the various measured angles and widths are available, plus template position is shown and screw lengths are also visible. If needed an AP view of the short knee can also mimic the same cut that's been planned on the long limb and a plate applied. When all images are complete, save or commit to the packs. This completes the video tutorial on varus lower limb high tibial osteotomy.